Krishna borrows 45,000 from a bank at 10% compound interest. He repays it in three annual installments that are in arithmetic progressions. He ends up paying rupees 54,000 totally. How much did he pay in year one? It's a very simple question. If you get the idea right, fine. This sounds like there's an AP idea involved, there's compound interest, and then different installments, all of that, fine. Forget about all this. There are three terms in AP that add up to 54,000. What does that tell you? It's a very, very, very important idea. It's a very crucial idea. Three terms in AP that are in arithmetic progression, adding up to 54,000. Straight away, I can say the terms are 18K in the middle, 18K minus D, and 18K plus D. The second year, he ended up paying 18,000. First year was 18,000 minus D, where D is a common difference. And third year, 18,000 plus D. That's a very simple idea, but extremely powerful idea. We'll have to use this idea to build further on in this topic. So he's paid 18,000 minus D at the end of year one, 18,000 at the end of year two, and 18,000 plus D at the end of year three. Three terms in AP, three terms adding up to 54,000. Right. Now let's think about his amount outstanding at the end of year one. So I'm going to think about end of year one. How much money will he owe the bank? That will be 45,000 into 1.1. Why 1.1? Because he's paying 10% interest. 10% is 0.1. So 45,000 into 1.1 is what his amount outstanding would be at the end of year one. If he chose to pay all of that at the end of year one, we clear his entire debt at the end of year one, he would have paid this much amount, which is 45,000 plus 4.5, which is 49.5K. And instead of 1,000, I'm putting it as K, three zeros. Now, he does not repay this entire amount. So the amount repaid at the end of year one, this is nothing but 18K minus D. So he, owe, he owes 49.5,000. He pays 18,000 minus D, whatever the D might be. So amount outstanding at the end of year one, after having paid this, that would be this number minus this. 49.5 minus 18,000. So 49 minus 18 is 31. This is 31.5K plus D. That is the amount outstanding. Now, let us redo the same process all over again. What does that mean? So from this is the amount outstanding at the end of year one. At the end of year two, he pays some amount. Now think about end of year two, what will he owe the bank? How much does he have to pay? He does not pay the whole amount. We are not saying he pays the whole amount. But if we were to finish off the loan at the end of year two, how much would you have to pay? That would be this 31.5K plus D into 1.1. Same idea, 31.5K plus D into 1.1. I'm just gonna scroll this down just so that we can follow this. So 31.5, 31,500 plus D into 1.1. This is the amount that we, he will have to pay at the end of year two if he wants to clear his entire debt. I'm going to do this 31.5 into 1.1, 31.5 plus 3.15. I'm going to add these two, 5, 6, 4, this is 34.65. So it's 34.65K plus 1.1D. Now what does he end up paying? Amount repaid, the amount he ends up paying in year 2 is 18,000. This we know exact amount outstanding, the C pays off to clear his, clear his debt. So 834.65K plus 1.1D is the amount that he has to pay. Out of this, he pays off 18. So what is the amount now outstanding? This is this 0.65 remains as it is. 34 minus 18 is 16.65. And so he has to pay 16.65K plus 1.1D. But he does not pay this off. He again keeps it open for one more year. So he pays off this number at the end of year three. He has to pay off 16.65K plus 1.1D into 1.1. This is nothing but 18K plus D. Solve for this, we get D. And there's still some amount of manipulation to do. We still have to find the value. But now this is a much more doable question. And so 16.65 into 1.1, so 1.665. So if we add this, again, I'm going to scroll down a little bit so that we have more of the screen visible. So this is 5, 
18.315k plus 1.21d is 18k plus d or 18.315k minus 18k equals d minus 1.21d this 18,315 minus 18,000 this is 315 equals minus 0.21d this is telling us that d is negative it's an arithmetic progression with a decreasing arithmetic progression so we'll do 315 by 0.21 i think maybe we'll be able to cancel off a 3 so this becomes 105 equals minus 0.07 d or d is 105 by minus 0.07 that is 1000 minus 1500 Remember, we had assumed the amounts as 18k minus d, 18k, 18k plus d. Or the amount he pays is 18,000 minus minus 1,500. So, this will be 19,500 in the first year, 18,000 in the second year, and 16,500 in the three, third year. Three terms in AP, adding up to 54,000, finishing off a debt of 45,000 at the rate of 10% year on year. And two ideas that are very important, one from progressions. If you're given sum of three terms in AP, you know the second term. Start from there. The second idea in compound interest, and compound interest is nothing but simple interest rolled over every year. Amount outstanding at the end of year 1 into 1.1 is amount outstanding at the end of year 2. And I might repay something there. When I subtract that, get the net amount after repayment. That into 1.1 is amount at the end of third year. We just have to be methodical about this. There's nothing conceptually difficult here. But th these kind of questions are pretty common in, in, in comparative exams where it is not on a template, it's not a formula, but every year you have to calculate a separate amount and then build on that. And so the amount paid off in the first year, as far as this question is concerned, is 19,500.